Holy shit, guys. Look at this son of a bitch. Look at that. Oh, I bought me a damn trailer. Um, it's pretty fancy. If you, uh, if you ask me, it's got, you know, it's got some issues and shit. But, uh, but I got a, got a pretty good deal on it. Um, basically, let me, let me just crawl up on this little bitch real quick. Um, anyhow, look at this. Look at that. That is, that is, that is rough. Look at that shit. Anyhow, this is, uh, this is my new trailer. see on the inside it uh, basically what happened is uh, it was up in the mountains and it got snowed on pretty hard and it, it buckled this whole roof in so this right here is just a replacement piece that he put in there um, this right here on the edge is like some aluminum rounded shit it's got some bird shit welds on it I guess it caved it in and so he had it re-welded which I don't really like the welds at all they all suck it looks like like they didn't have no gas or like I don't know like a retard or something welded it. I mean look at that. That's just that's disgusting. But um, anyhow, this is uh, my new trailer. Um, got a got a pretty good deal on it. It's kind of I don't know if I should tell you guys or not. Um, the floor, decent condition. You know it. <clears throat> obviously, I mean it has holes in here. It leaks. Um, you can see, you can see the ground right there, right here, you can see where it lifted up a little bit, which, I mean, it, it seems solid. I went ahead and I pulled the car in here, as you can see, you can see some, some tracks right there, I don't know, yeah, there we go, finally focusing. But, uh, he gave me some tires too, which, not like, I don't have enough tires, but, uh, but anyhow, so this is... This is my new trailer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of fix it up. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on how to fix or you know what I should do, uh, basically I was thinking just finding finding some sheet metal and going ahead and, and going over the whole thing and uh, you know the flat on the top, and then I was thinking on these edges if to get it done a little bit cheaper. I don't know how you know I would go ahead about bending you know all that and make it look pretty if I can I'm gonna get some you know some stuff and and bend it but but yeah so um got a pretty good deal on it um I guess you could say I paid for this what you'd pay for like a normal like a 16 foot flatbed car trailer like that's you know kind of what I paid for it you know so I got a I got a damn good deal on it um camera focus there we go I mean, it's got a little bit of damage and stuff on it um, I mean obviously for the money you ain't gonna get something something perfect for extra extra cherry but um, especially as cheap as I got but I might actually repaint it um, it's a Kindle trailer manufacturing it's 24 foot it's a 1999 uh, you know dual axle um, one of the axles it looks like it has a little bit of a, a bow to it it's kind of wearing a tire kind of weird I think it's this back one I don't know if it just needs greased again or I, I don't know but it, they're kind of it's kind of leaning I don't know if you can tell in the, the video but it's nice it has the door that comes down in the back it's got you know holes and shit the guy had four-wheelers and stuff in there so I think what he did is when he was unloading his four-wheeler in the mountain he just let this thing slam on the ground and random rocks and shit and he just, he just said screw it but uh, the lights need some work um, the trailer brakes and everything my trailer brake controller my truck doesn't work so I need to, I need to fix that and, uh, and yeah but that's pretty much pretty much it so this is gonna be the the new home of the the kooky or the the new the new race car trailer rig but yeah I might uh, might end up painting it and then I'm gonna fix the roof um, I mean the roof is really the 
biggest issue. I mean, you stand back and you look at it and it just looks like shit. I mean, you could tell like right away that it just, it's been fucked up bad, but I don't think it'll be too bad. It's just sheet metal. I mean, it's not like the, you know, structural integrity of the trailer is like, you know, bad. I mean, maybe with those welds, but I'll probably go through and, and re-weld, re-weld a lot of that stuff and, and then make it look, make it look good again, paint this thing and and, uh, you know, put my name on the side of it and, and go to drift events and just enjoy the shit out of it. But uh, there's a little update, I guess.